Hello everybody. In today's video, we will have a look at the AI from Google, namely Google Bot, and if this AI can also generate ABAP code. I will ask Bart a few questions and analyze the answers and test them in an SAP system. We open the link bart.google.com or we type this in our browser window and we log in here with our Google account. I will link the Google Bart link in the video description. So after that, unfortunately, Bart isn't currently supported in my country. So I need a VPN and I found one called Atlas VPN link also in the description. I have here five gigabyte free traffic and I can uh, log into an American server. I pick here New York without the crown because with crown is premium. After the successful connection, I go back to my browser window and I press F5. I do a refresh here and now we can use BART. So the first question is uh, what is ABAP? And we press enter. Okay, and we see a good description about the programming language. And we have also the sourced link. Next question, create the hello world in ABAP. We see a code snippet and we don't have to test this because it's okay. Next, we create the hello world in ABAP with object oriented syntax. So, okay, we get the new snippet with class and methods. Okay, I see a little problem here, but let's copy and paste this in the SAP system. So we have to type here the definition. The method is okay. We can delete the brackets. Um, the implementation looks good. And now we have to call the method. So we type here start of selection and then data hello world is new hello world. So we create the object here and then we call the method read. Now let's pretty print and activate the code and run the code. And we see, okay, the program works. So let's go back. Next question, how to remove leading zeros from a variable in ABAP. So I'm excited. Uh, okay, a shift command and the function conversion exit alpha output. Yes, the code looks good. Let's test it. Activate and run. Yes. The leading zeros are deleted, but there is a shorter option to do this. And I type this here. LV order number is with is 10 and alpha uh, is out. So let's command the function call and activate the code and run the code and we see the result is the same. Okay, next question, select data from table S flight in ABAP. So we should get a select statement. Yes, here it is the first one. Let's copy this and let's display the internal table with CLDMO output display, LTS flight, so activate. And we see the data from the database table as flight. Next question, I will try a join. So I join the table as flight and as carrier. So I'm excited about the result. Okay, the syntax is not okay. We need an alias for the database tables and we have to select the columns 
with the alias also in the join statement and after that we want to display the internal table LTS flight so let's activate the code okay there's an error okay I see the Elias should be an S and not an A so let's change this and I delete the work clause as well activate and run and okay we see here the join data from carrier, uh, carrier table and S flight table next question is I want to know with which which transaction I can search ABAP code in an SAP system. And we should get the transaction name code scanner. Yes, here is it with this transaction. We can search for ABAP code. Next question, in which table in SAP are the passwords stored? So we have here the table USR02, this is right then user password history is right but password admin and password expiry these tables don't exist in a sap system so let's check the table usr 02 and here at the end of the table we see the sorted hash passwords yes I have to admit that the AI from Google is also very impressive and delivers good results. The syntax in the ABAP code is of course expandable, but it should be noted that ABAP is far less common than for example Java or Python. And there is therefore also much less code on the internet to learn. So should you use AI as a beginner programmer? I advise against in it it in this case a good book or a mentor or senior is definitely the better choice will bart replace us software developers i think not that was my short impression of bart the ai from google if you like such videos please subscribe to my channel leave me your opinion about this video in the comments i hope you will be back for the next video greetings and see you soon